Good morning and welcome to the vlog. So I just washed my hair, showered, shaved, lotion all over my body. I only wash my hair once a week every Tuesday. So today is Tuesday, so it was time to wash it. Definitely by the end of the week, like if you go a week without washing hair, at least mine gets very gross at the end of the week. It gets super oily on top and then all the dry shampoo I put in my hair throughout the week just gets gross. So it's so nice having clean hair. I think I started the vlog in the bathroom last week too, but I just wanted to pull you guys in here because my skin is feeling a little dry. And I'm gonna be putting on a decent amount of makeup later because it is also Tuesday date night, which I'm so excited because we had to skip last week since he wasn't in town. And then we're also going to a restaurant that we've never tried before that we wanted to get into, but you literally have to make a reservation like months in advance. So I made this reservation probably two, three months ago, I would say. And now we're finally in. So what I do since we do have date night every single Tuesday, I will book out reservation, dinner reservations every Tuesday for like two, three months. So I just use like the open table app and then I'll book out each restaurant for a few months. That way we don't ever have to worry about, you know, not being able to get into a place. And then it's kind of fun too, cause I can look on open table and see which restaurants we haven't tried and maybe try some new ones or go back to some of our favorites but Chris actually works downtown Austin which is like a 20 minute drive from our house and he works in off so he's like half and half but he works in office every single Tuesday so it works out perfect because then when he gets off work I just meet him downtown and that's usually when we do date nights so I usually book it around for like 5 30 but yeah I'm pretty excited I'm just, oh, the face mask I'm going to do is one of the Sephora ones. This one is a hydrate moisturizing. It's a moisturizing and glow face mask. It's the Leche. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Leche, I think that's how you say it. I just usually like wring just a little bit of the liquid out just because there's a lot in there. And if you try and put it straight on your face, I feel like it always drips <laughs> down onto my shirt or my neck and that kind of annoys me. I did a little workout earlier and I've been cleaning the house. Usually I have Monday off, so that's kind of my day to like get errands done and clean the house and stuff since I work on the weekends. But this week I picked up an extra shift to help out on Monday. So today is like my first real day off. And then we also have a concert to go to tomorrow. So fun week, good week to vlog because we'll actually be doing stuff unlike last week. A bit more of a chill week last week. But yeah, now I look like a crazy person. But I'm just gonna let this sit. I think it probably says for it to sit for like 10 minutes. Oh, five minutes, yeah. No, I always let it sit longer than that. I mean, there's certain face masks that like you really wanna listen to the time that it gives you. Like I use this face mask a lot the ordinary one with juice of the salicylic acid 2% mask which is really good but it says to leave it on for 10 minutes and trust me you only want to leave it on for 10 minutes because otherwise it will start to kind of like burn your skin and your skin gets a little too red so that one I will set a timer and do exactly 10 minutes but these like hydrating sheet mask ones I feel like you can leave on longer I feel like I'll probably leave this on for like 15 minutes and then I'll come back and do my skincare afterwards. But yeah, I just want to check in. I'll check in later or I'm sure the next time I'll vlog is probably when I'm getting ready for date night. I did order some lights off of Amazon. I look crazy right now. Did order some lights off of Amazon just cause when I'm filming my reels and stuff, I would like some better lighting. Oh, I was watering our pothos and it's literally massive. Like. It's getting so long. It was actually even longer than that. I just cut off some of the bottom pieces to start propagating them. Look how cute they look. Aren't those adorable? So I'm just water propagating them. You cut right before like one of the nodes and then you can just stick them in water. It does take them a few months to start growing enough roots for you to pot them. So I'm getting ready for date night. I already prepped my skin with my skincare and everything, but I figured mine as well film my makeup so I've just been mixing two different foundations lately because I don't have a color that matches my skin perfectly right now I have one that's too light and one that's too dark so I'm mixing the born this way foundation in vanilla with the Estee Lauder double wear in cashew I've had this one for a while there's not much left in it definitely going to repurchase this foundation when I run out in a 
color that fits me better. I do really, really like it for the summertime because it's a foundation that stays um, in place really well. I'm just gonna do one pump of pouring this way on the back of my hands. Pretty much I'm doing like half and half mixture, maybe just a little bit more of the lighter one right now. And then I'm gonna use this Morphe M6 brush as my foundation brush. Mix those two colors together and I'm gonna start stippling that on. That left me kind of with like a medium coverage, so I think I'm gonna do a little bit more, a second layer, just because I do have some blemishes and red spots right now, so I want more of a full coverage. And then normally I go in with concealer as well, but I actually wanna do my brows first today, so I'm just brushing them up. It's a double-sided brush, so the one side has a spoolie, and the other side has a thin tip for doing like powders or whatever and it's the morphe m158 pushing them up and then i'm going to take a little bit of the anastasia brow powder duo in dark brown i'm going to take the lighter color focus this more on the tail of my brow sorry if you see me looking down it's because i have a mirror right in front of me and it's just easier to see what i'm doing through that i'm gonna mostly leave the beginning of my brow alone just because i don't like that to be too dark it makes it start to look very un natural very quick and then I always like putting a gel over my brows as well this is the benefit I don't remember exactly the name like all of the writing has come off but I'm using the shade 4.5 and I just like doing this over top so it sets them in place a bit better and then it also gives more depth to the hairs of the brow makes them look a bit more natural than just going in with powder alone and this I will bring to the front of my brow and then I kind of push them up because I want that feathery look next I'm gonna go in with the concealer I am I'm just using the same one, the Born This Way concealer. My shade is porcelain, which is pretty light. I'm just gonna do a little bit in the center, a little bit in the middle of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose. I have a pretty red chin, so I always do concealer on my chin. And then I do have some scarring and redness from blemishes on the sides right here. Yeah, I just start to kind of dot it on any extra blemishes that I have. And then I'm taking the e.l.f. camo sponge just to blend that out. I really like the sponge. I was using the Real Technique, Real Techniques sponge for a while. And honestly, I like this one more and it's cheaper. So gotta love that. Next, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Pressed Powder. I'm in medium neutral, I believe. And I'm just mostly gonna set the middle of my face with this. I will go in with a Laura Mercier powder and bake underneath my eyes and sculpt out my bronzer as well when I'm done bronzing. But I just like to set the middle of my face up on my forehead a little bit. And then I mostly leave my cheeks alone because I am going to go in with bronzer and blush powder. So I'm going to leave that area alone because I don't need to powder it and then powder it again with bronzer and blush. That tends to just look a little bit too cakey for me. I like to do as minimal powder as possible. I find it looks a lot more natural and pretty. I'm gonna go in with my bronzer next. I'm using the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer Sunkiss and a Morphe M405 brush. It's so good because it's slanted. I don't know if you can see, but the way that slanted is so nice for just hitting that cheekbone. And then I'm also gonna bring it around my hairline on my forehead. Contour my nose just with the same bronzer. I'm gonna take a more defined brush and hit the sides of my nose and then underneath my nose as well just to give that shadow. So I was gonna use this one, the ColourPop, which is gorgeous, but it's very pigmented. So I think I'm gonna switch to this one, the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Risque. It's more of like a mauve color. Keep it kind of high up too. I don't wanna pull it too close into my nose. I wanna keep it more the apples of my cheeks and then bring it back as well. And I'm just gonna do that for now. I can always add more blush and bronzer at the end if I decide that I don't have enough on. Usually after bronzer and blush is when I will set. I don't do highlighter yet because I like to set underneath my eyes and it tends to kind of cover up that highlighter so usually a highlight is one of my last steps so like i said i'm using the laura mercier translucent powder and i'm just going to use the other side of my sponge and i'm actually going to carve out my cheeks so usually the top of my ear to corner of my lip is where i like to apply this for baking i realized i went way higher with this side so now i'm just fixing <laughs> this side and going higher with it too which is actually usually where i like to do it i realized i kind of went a little too low that's a bit better <laughs> and then also i will take some on the very tip of the sponge 
and press that in underneath my eyes and then i'll just let this sit while i do my eyeshadow and then i'm just gonna zoom you in a bit more for doing my eyes i'm gonna use the ColourPop nude mood palette here's the colors i'm just gonna do more of a neutral gold look today i think so starting with a crease color i'm gonna take the morphe n5 7 3 brush with the shade bear to wear which is in the top corner pretty much i'm going to take this all over my lid i'm just going to work this in with circles pretty much i'm going to bring this all the way up to my brow bone because it is such a light transition color i'm not scared to bring it up too high I'm going to start that motion of a triangle out on the outer corner of my eye i'm gonna go in with another transition color our natural that's just a bit deeper pretty much gonna do the same thing with this one except i'm not gonna bring it all the way up to my brow bone i'm just gonna keep it a little bit lower but still doing windshield wiper motions working that into my crease i wasn't exactly sure what eyeshadow look i wanted to do but i think i'm gonna do kind of like a halo where it is gold in the middle of my eye and then darker on the inner corner and outer corner i'm gonna take the darkest color in the palette which is this nice chocolatey brown um moody this is the morphe m210 please start patting this in the middle of the eye and the outer corner with a darker shade like this i really recommend starting with a little bit and then working up instead of going in with a bunch at once it'll be a lot easier to blend out and get your desired look if you just start with a little bit and then if you need to you can go back in with the darker transition color just to kind of blend any harsh lines out so i'm using all natural a it's au natural however you say that and then I did kind of bring the dark brown out to a bit of a point. Make sure there's no harsh lines. I will be adding eyeliner. And then once you feel like you have the outer corner and inner corner as dark as you want then, I go in with the middle gold color, which is put on airs, and that is going to be my spotlight color. So I'm just going to get pick up a bit on the brush and then set that with some setting spray just to bind those particles together and make it go on a little bit cleaner without as much fallout i'm using the morphe setting spray so i'm just gonna and then apply to the middle first i'm just packing it on and then i will go out and blend the brown and the gold together next i'm going to do my eyeliner i'm using the morphe make it big eyeliner i really want to try the kat von d one next i've heard amazing things about her eyeliners i'm gonna bring the wing pretty high up so i'm gonna angle the wing up to the tail of my brow bone i tend to like that a bit more because i feel like it kind of lifts my eyes up i do have pretty circular eyes so any effect that helps to kind of pull my my face out I really like I'm just gonna pull it up like that and then do the same thing on the other eye here's the finished eyeliner I'm going to add some mascara now before I do my false lashes I'm using the lash paradise by L'Oreal which is this one I've been using this one forever I want to try out the Urban Decay one next so I'm just going to coat my top lashes in mascara first and leave my bottom lashes alone for now because I still need to do shadow on my bottom line. But I usually do my lash, like finish off the top of my eye first with fake lashes and everything before moving on to the bottom. So I don't have any new lashes to use. I've used these ones a few times already. They're ones by Ardell. Nice wispies. I do want to turn them more into like a half lash though so I'm going to cut off a decent portion of the outer corner. Make sure if you want to take length off you're always taking it off the outer corner not the inner corner and then that's the size that I'm left with which will be perfect for this look. I use the duo lash glue. I This one is in black though the glue is nice and tacky now so i'm going to just stick this on the outer corner okay i'm actually gonna brush this way just because i don't want it to be too bright in that area i am gonna leave the powder underneath my eyes for now though i like to leave it while i do my bottom line that way if any of it falls down i can kind of just brush it away with the powder i'm gonna use the nude mood palette again and go back in i'm gonna use this urban decay duo brush it just came with one of the urban decay palettes i'm gonna go back in with Al natural i'm gonna take that underneath both all the way pretty much from the outer eye to the inner corner and then after that i'm going to take the darkest color again moody but i'm going to keep it more towards the outer corner of my eye i'm not going to bring it in too far probably halfway is where i'll stop it 
And then from there is where I'll brush the excess translucent powder off and then go back in with my mascara and finish off my bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna go in with my highlighter, which is this NARS one in Forte France. If you want a highlighter that's a bit more natural and not so blinding and chunky and glittery, which I have nothing wrong with those, I love those as well. But if you're wanting one that's a little bit more toned down, I highly recommend this one. Place that on the high point of my cheek. I usually kind of like to bring it up and just do a bit of a C above my brow tail as well. I love this highlighter. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush, just like a crease one, and I'm going to apply that to the tip of my nose and then the arch of my nose as well. This camera keeps like going in and out of focus and I'm trying to keep it from doing that, but it's so annoying. I don't know if I need to like mess with one of the settings or something, but I need to figure that out because it drives me crazy. Oh, and I'll just take whatever excess is left on my brush and just put that in Cupid's bow. Okay. Next, I'm going to drench, and I mean drench, my face in setting spray. This just melts all of that powder into your skin, makes it look a lot less powdery, more natural. It's just so pretty. And then your makeup lasts way longer too. You don't have to worry about it moving and coming off throughout the day as much. Next, all I have is my lips. Thinking more like a pinky nude, cause why not? I'm gonna go in with MAC Soar. MAC lip pencils are probably, I was gonna say one of my favorites, but honestly, they might be like my favorite lip pencils. So, and I do overline my lips just a little bit. And then I'm going to top it off with a neuter lipstick because this is a bit more pink than I was planning on going. So I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in JK Magic and I'm just going to blot this on. So that's really pretty. It still didn't lighten it quite as much as I wanted it to. So I'm going to go in with an even lighter color which is the dose of colors liquid lipstick in oh no the name came off but I want to say if I remember correctly it's sand. See? It's just helping kind of brighten it. So this is the finished look. I really like the way it turned out. I was gonna add a gloss, but I don't think I'm going to just because eating dinner and stuff. So there's my makeup look. I'm gonna go finish off my hair, put my outfit on, and then I'll show you the final look. Here's how my hair turned out. I just did loose curls. I did smaller sections and then only held them for like three seconds. And then I'm gonna put some hair oil in. I like to do this every single day. This is the Kristen S. Weightless Shine Working Serum. I really, really like this one. I've already repurchased it. I think this is my second bottle and I have another one in the cupboard too. So I'm just gonna kind of brush out the curls with that. Oh, it smells so good too. I love the way it smells. And then I just added these little gold earrings from Amazon. I just have a few different small chunky gold hoops. And then I'm gonna wear some perfume. I'm just gonna wear my black opium Saint Laurent one. I usually only do one spray of this because it is really strong and I'm pretty sensitive to smells. I'm also gonna wear some black sunglasses just to tie in. Oh no! I got water on my boob. Oh well. <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying was to tie in my outfit because. I'm wearing, I don't know if you guys can see it in the bathroom. I might have to go into the other room to show you. But I'm just wearing this little brown nude mini dress with some combat boots, black sunglasses, and I don't know if it's gonna be, oh, and my engagement ring. Gotta put that back on. And then I don't know if it's gonna be cold enough, but I'm gonna bring it just in case. Cause yesterday was kinda cold when we went to that soccer game. So I might just wear this. All like an hour to kill before I have to head out. I think I'm just gonna try and edit the rest of last week's video and get that up. I think I'm gonna try and set for posting every Tuesday, but we'll see how it goes. And then I'll bring you guys to dinner as well. <laughs> Kind of like shovel it out a little bit. And then I like putting some of that. 
Yeah, with the lemon guy. the next day now and I have a few packages from Amazon we have a lot of windows in our house so there's good natural lighting but for trying to film reels and videos and stuff like that it's not enough lighting so I ordered some light which I'm really excited about um, one of the girls I follow on YouTube uses these ones hey um, oh, you're on the cam? Yeah. What's up? What's up? Hello. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing is intense. Intense, intense, intense. So, looks like this. It looks pretty light when she, or bright when she uses it. And then I also got a tripod for it. It's a newer and e e w e r light i'll link it down below if anyone is interested in trying out the light we were gonna film that sit down video last night but i was waiting for this to come in and it didn't come in until like later in the night so i think we're gonna just do that on monday instead and then i'm also gonna use it to film a few reels today and get that done so i have content to post over the weekend while i'm working <laughs> So oh, this is what it looks like fully set up and then I got two of these tripods off of Amazon. I came with a second one too. That way if I buy more lights, I'll have one. I'll link those as well. But look how bright this is already. So this is what the kitchen looks like with no light. And that's what it looks like with the light on. Surprise! I cut my hair. I was, let me close this because Chris is currently working. But I got bored and whenever I get bored, I tend to want to change my hair in some way So I figured I'd give myself bangs. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with them and Chris likes them a lot, too So that's a bonus But I'm just waiting for Chris to get done with work and then we actually have a concert to go to tonight So that'll be really fun. We're seeing Jack White with a friend of ours So I'm gonna get ready for that I mean, I'm pretty much already ready because I did my makeup earlier for a reel But I just gotta change my clothes and touch up my makeup just a little bit add some accessories And then honestly, we'll be good to go. I just poured myself a glass of wine i'll bring you guys along to the concert try and get some good footage of us just hanging out and having fun with our friends <laughs> Currently the next day, it's Thursday, I think. I just got home from work a few hours ago. The concert was last night, it was really fun. A little odd though, cause when we got there, they give you these like pouch things to put your phones in and then they lock them during the entire show and the only way to access your phone is to go to like a designated phone area. So I wasn't really able to vlog much, but it was really fun, it was a great time. We went with one of our guy friends. But yeah, I just went to Marshall's and Ulta and then Lowe's too from Marshalls. I got a few candles because we tend to go through candles pretty quick and I don't like spending too much on them since we do go through them so quick. So I like to get ones from Marshalls because they tend to be a bit cheaper. I got this one, which is a sand and paws. It is pineapple coconut. Mm, it smells so good. It literally smells like summer to me. So I love that one. I definitely went for more summer smelling candles this time around. Normally, I stick to the like pumpkin, creme brulee, like vanilla. I love everything. Pecan, love pecan. So this time I definitely got more summery ones. This one is Beach Day by Sensational and it has like the wood wicks, which I really like because it, it sounds really cool when you're burning them. So I got those two. And then I did get a smaller one too. This one is Guava Tangerine. I love this one. This one smells really good. Chris, come here. Smell these candles and tell me which one's your favorite. I got a few and they're all like summery scents. You keep wearing swim trunks around the house. <laughs> Ooh. Isn't that one smells that so good? That one's really good. Okay. Um. That one's the coconut pineapple. Ooh, right. this one's better. 
You like that one more? Yeah. That one's more subtle. John Wick. No, I don't think that says John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> Wood That's Wick. the name of this candle, though. Is that one your favorite? They smell similar, don't they? This one, this one's a lot more chill. This is like if you don't want something overpowering, but just kind of mm. want your house to smell. This is a more intense. Nice. This is a more intense yeah. one of this. Yeah. Yeah. I like so this, this one the most. And that this one. one? Yeah. This oh one. really? They smell the same. This is oh, this one's a little bit more. So yeah. So I got those three candles, and I also just got some eyelashes. These are just like cheap ones from Marshalls, but yeah. I figured I can just cut most of it off and turn them into half lashes. And yeah, I go through eyelashes pretty quick, so I don't. Another thing I don't like to spend too much money on if I can avoid it. And then my big bow, the Birdo bow, as Chris <laughs> likes to call it. Um, my best friend saw that and she was like, oh my God, where'd you get that? I want one. So, and the only reason I could say this is because she's going to watch this video after I give this to her. But I got her one. So nice. now we can be matching. And then I also got myself this one, which is like panda ears. I need to find some stitch ears. Oh. Right? I know. So that's my next hunt. But for now, I have some panda ears. And then I have to go to Ulta because I'm out of my dry shampoo. I really want to try the living proof one, but that one's like 30 bucks. And I was just going the cheaper route today. So I just got the one that I always use. They actually just redid these. No white residue. It's like the re redone formula or whatever. I do the dark hair one because I do have pretty dark brunette hair. And then I also got, I was using a little small sample size of the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Acid. And I actually ran out of it and I like to use it in my morning and and night routine so I picked up another one I just wanted to try the ordinary so I'm gonna give that a try and then I also picked up another makeup brush I wanted one that was a bit more precise for like the bottom line doing eyeshadow underneath so that's what it looks like it is the morphe m431 and I figured that would just be great for under there so that's all I got from Ulta I did get a few pots from Lowe's because I had to repot some of our plants. I had them in like the terracotta pots and they were starting to like mold on the outside, which was really weird. I got these ones instead and I really, really like the look of them, but they're in my kitchen sink right now. This is one of the pots, which is really, really cute. The other one. So. And that is all I got today from errands. But I do think this vlog is going to be kind of long. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much footage I have, but I do work the next three days. I do 12-hour shifts Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm not going to be vlogging the next rest of this week. So I'm just going to sign out here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.